300 miles off the coast of Oregon, a mountain nearly a mile beneath the sea is taking a deep, slow breath. For the last 10 years, it's been steadily swelling, its peak rising 10 feet closer to the surface of the Pacific. This isn't just any mountain, it's a volcano, the most active in the entire Pacific Northwest, and all the data suggests it's about to exhale. Scientists are on high alert. The countdown has begun, and they're predicting an eruption is imminent, likely before the end of 2025. But here's the wildest part of this whole story. When this massive volcano finally erupts, covering miles of the seafloor in fresh lava, you won't feel a thing. No smoke will hit the sky, no ash will fall, and no tsunami will threaten the coast. So why are scientists from all over the world watching its every move with bated breath? The answer lies deep beneath the waves, in a world that's about to be reborn in fire. The Silent Giant When you think of volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest, names like Mount St. Helens or Mount Rainier probably come to mind. You picture those towering snow-caped giants capable of just incredible fury. And yet, the most geologically active volcano in the whole region is one most people have never even heard of. Axel Seamount it's located about 300 miles offshore, a colossal underwater mountain whose summit is still almost 5,000 feet below the ocean's surface. Its incredible activity is thanks to a perfect geological storm. Axel Seamount sits right on the Juan de Fuca Ridge, which is a tectonic boundary where the Pacific and Juan de Fuca plates are actively spreading apart. This spreading creates a constant pipeline for magma from deep within the Earth to rise toward the sea floor. As if that wasn't enough, the seamount is also parked over a geological hotspot, a plume of superhot material rising from the mantle that gives it an extra supercharged fuel source. This one-two punch makes Axial Seamount an eruption machine, one that goes off far more often than its famous cousins on land. It's a titan hidden in plain sight, concealed by the crushing pressure and darkness of the deep ocean, the countdown clock. Axial Seamount doesn't just erupt randomly, it actually breathes. Since its discovery, scientists have found a remarkably predictable pattern. Magma steadily fills a shallow chamber just under its summit, causing the volcano's floor to inflate or swell upwards. Once the swelling hits a critical point, the volcano erupts and releases all that pressure. The seafloor then deflates and the whole cycle starts over again. This very cycle has led to three major eruptions in recent history. First in 1998, then in 2011, and most recently in 2015. Each time the volcano exhaled, spewing lava across the sea floor before taking its next long, slow breath in. And for the past decade since that 2015 event, it's been inhaling deeply. Instruments planted on the sea floor have measured the summit, bulging upwards by about 10 feet as it refills with magma. Based on this clear, repeating behavior, scientists have made a formal forecast. They've seen that the volcano has reached, and even slightly passed. The amount of inflation that triggered the 2015 eruption. Because of this, they predict the next event will happen before the end of 2025. The signs have been wrapping up. After a quiet period, the rate of inflation and the number of small earthquakes started picking up in late 2023 and early 2024. And while the number of daily quakes has calmed down a bit recently, researchers say the inflation is marching along at a fairly steady clip. It's as if the volcano is just treading water, holding its breath right before the big show. The pressure is building, the threshold has been crossed, and the clock is ticking. The myth of the mega tsunami. Let's be honest, the words underwater volcano eruption conjure up some pretty scary images. Roiling seas, massive stream explosions, and devastating tsunamis. But for Axel Seamount, the reality is far less dramatic and frankly, way more interesting. The truth is this eruption poses zero risk to coastal communities in Oregon, Washington, or anywhere else. There will be no tsunami. The reason is all about the type of volcano this is. Unlike the explosion, mountain-shattering volcanoes on land, Axial Seamount is a shield volcano, much like the ones in Hawaii and Iceland. Its eruptions aren't violent, top-blowing explosions. Instead, they're called effusive eruptions. When the pressure gets to be too much, the crust just cracks open and lava oozes and seeps out, flowing across the seafloor like thick molten syrup. These aren't the kind of catastrophic events that displace the massive columns of water needed to create a tsunami. The eruption will happen nearly a mile deep, and its effects will be almost entirely smothered by the immense pressure of the ocean above. Volcanologists have said that if you were on a boat directly over the summit when it erupted, 
you probably wouldn't even know it was happening. There'd be no visible plume, no floating debris, nothing to see on the surface at all. The great paradox of Axial Seamount is that one of the most powerful volcanic events on the continent will be almost completely silent to the world above. A secret kept by the deep sea the world's greatest volcanic laboratory. So if Axial Seamount isn't a threat, why is it the focus of so much intense scientific research? Because its isolation and its predictability make it the perfect natural laboratory. This is where the Ocean Observatory's initiative comes in. Run by the University of Washington, this project has turned Axial Seamount into the most advanced underwater volcano observatory on the planet. A network of over 660 miles of high-tech fiber optic cables connects the volcano directly to shore, powering more than 140 scientific instruments. And we're not talking about simple sensors, we're talking high-definition video cameras, chemical analyzers, seismometers that detect the faintest tremors, and hypersensitive pressure gauges that can measure the seafloor rising and falling by less than an inch. This cabled array gives scientists a constant 24-7 stream of real-time data, letting them watch the volcano breathe, tremble, and prepare to erupt all from the comfort of their labs. This setup is a total game-changer for volcanology. On land, forecasting an eruption is a high-stakes gamble that can involve costly evacuations and public panic. But at Axel, scientists can test and fine-tune their prediction models without any risk to people or property. They get to see which signals, inflation, earthquake swarms, gas releases, are the most reliable clues. It's a place to finally learn the language of volcanoes. Knowledge that can be used to save lives at other, much more dangerous volcanoes around the world. An oasis of life forged in fire. You might think the summit of an active volcano would be a barren wasteland, but Axel Seamount is the exact opposite. It's a vibrant oasis of life, thriving in conditions that would be instantly lethal to almost anything else on Earth. The volcano is covered in hydrothermal vents. Underwater hot springs were superheated, mineral-rich water burst from the seafloor in this world of complete darkness. These vents support entire ecosystems that run not on sunlight, but on the raw chemical energy of the volcano itself. Here you'll find some truly bizarre communities of life. There are fields of giant tube worms, some several feet tall, with bright red plumes that wave in the dark water. Spider crabs crawl across the sea floor, while strange species of fish and octopus navigate the alien landscape. The very foundation of this entire food web is made of microbes that feast on the sulfurous chemicals shooting out of the vents. An eruption is both a creator and a destroyer for these communities. The initial lava flows can be devastating, wiping out entire vent fields by burying them under a fresh layer of rock. In 2011, scientists watched as a site that they'd been studying for years got completely paved over. But these ecosystems are also incredibly resilient. Within just a few months, new vents start to form on the fresh lava and life begins to return. The eruption, while destructive, ultimately provides new ground and a fresh blast of chemical energy, allowing brand new oases to bloom in the abyss. It's a powerful cycle of destruction and renewal, all driven by the fiery heart of the planet. This hidden world of fire and life is an incredible reminder of how much we still have to discover about our own planet. If you think these deep sea mysteries are as fascinating as we do, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss our next dive into the most extreme environments on Earth. The next eruption of Axial Seamount is more than just a geological event. It's a scientific opportunity of a lifetime. For the very first time, thanks to that gabled observatory, scientists are planning to stream an underwater eruption as it happens, capturing the whole process in high definition. This will give us an unprecedented real-time window into the fundamental forces that build our planet's crust. So while it may be America's most active volcano, Axel Seamount isn't a threat. It's a teacher. It's a reminder that an estimated 80% of all volcanic activity on Earth happens deep beneath the waves largely unseen and unstudied. Axel Seamount is our single greatest key to unlocking that hidden world. As it prepares to erupt once more, it offers us a chance to listen, to learn, and to witness the raw creative power that is constantly shaping our world from the silent dark abyss.